What's up Warpath? We've got a, another exciting 5.0 update video we are bringing you guys today. We're going to go ahead and jump right into it, but before we do, I want to give you guys a full disclosure here, all right? There has been, seem it seems like there's been some confusion with some folks uh, through things I've seen in the comments and things like that. This video has been recorded on a test server in a test environment. Everything that you see in this video does not represent my actual personal account or it is not an official Warpath server, okay? I just want to make sure that you guys completely understand that this is a not a real account. This, I mean, it is, but it is not, right? It is not a real account that will actually be used in the game, and this is not a real server that anybody can play on. This is strictly just for this 5.0 update, and I've been given access to this by Lilith to make sure that I can give you guys all the all the most accurate, the best, most informative content that I possibly can regarding everything with the 5.0 update, I've been on this server for about a month, being able to kind of, you know, get the ins and outs of everything coming up. And I want to make sure that I can bring you guys all of that through this um, opportunity on this server uh, to give you guys the best information and content I possibly can. With that being said, guys, I want to go ahead and hop right into what we're going to be discussing today, which is going to be the advanced unit disassembly. All right. We are going to jump right into the disassembly plant. You guys are probably familiar with the standard pre 5.0 update tabs. We've got the disassembly, the restoration, and parts disassembly. With the 5.0 update now, we've got a fourth uh, tab. We've got a fourth tab. It's going to be advanced unit disassembly. We're going to click on that. You guys can see that I've got all of the units, uh, 7.2 stars. I've got them all, you know, fully maxed out, whatever. Um, but. I want to go in depth and I want to make sure that you guys are fully aware and fully understand what the advanced unit disassembly is, what happens when you do disassemble a unit, all right, and then how it can benefit you. So the advanced disassembly is going to be if you've got any 7.1 7, 7 or 7.2 star units that you're not using or that you don't mind sacrificing in order to get camp specific prototype pieces to be able to modernize other units that maybe you do feel that you want to prioritize more or that, again, if you're not using a unit or whatever the situation may be, you guys can use those to advance, disassemble, get the camp-specific prototype pieces, and then ultimately speed up your progression on modernized units. So, it goes like this. So, if every seven-star unit that you've got, you can disassemble it through the advanced disassembly, and you guys are going to get four camp-specific prototype pieces. Every 7.1 star unit you guys advance disassemble is going to give you guys 12 camp prototype pieces. Every 7.2 star unit that you guys do the advanced disassembly on is going to give you guys 36 camp prototype pieces. So it doesn't matter what camp it's from, doesn't matter what unit it is, it is all based on the actual tier of unit, meaning 7 star, 7.1, 7.2. You guys cannot disassemble four prototype pieces anything less than a seven star unit so let's take a look at our we'll do the liberty heavy for example it's a 7.2 star unit we'll click on it we'll click disassemble and this is what we are going to get from doing the advanced disassembly we are going to get 36 liberty prototype pieces we're going to get our 416,000 ammo back we're going to get our 134K components back, and then we're going to get our 604 million arms XP back, all right? This is, a again, a good way for you guys to be able to build up camp-specific prototype pieces. But again, I just want to give you guys my opinion on this and give you guys my advice and what I can see possibly happening with some players and what approach I'm going to take. So what I can see happening is people start having the FOMO going on, right? The fear of missing out. And so some players are going to be looking at some of their units they've got, right? They're going to look at like, well, I've got a Liberty Artillery here. I've got a Liberty Medium here. I have a Liberty Light here. You know, I use them all. I need them all. They benefit me all in certain ways, but I really maybe don't need that artillery unit. Or I really maybe don't need that light tank. Or I really maybe don't need that medium tank, right? However... What's going to happen is when you guys do advance disassemble a unit, I just want to make sure that you guys completely understand the system in place here. 
when you guys fully do the advanced disassembly of a unit, it is not the standard disassembly where you disassemble it, you get all your ammo, arms EXP, components back, but you keep the unit. And then you just are able to, if you want to reuse the unit, you can. You can go in and bring it back up to level 200, fill up the modifications again, all of that, right? You guys, I want to make sure you guys are crystal clear on this. When you guys do the advanced unit disassembly, you are forfeiting that unit entirely, meaning you lose it, right? When you do the advanced disassembly, unit's gone. So if I disassemble this Liberty Heavy Tank right here, I would get the 36 camp prototype pieces and then all of the arms, XP, the ammo, components, whatever. But I lose this unit entirely. So the only way I would get this unit back is it doesn't just reset to level one or anything like that. The only way I would get this unit back is if I went in and actually physically with coupons rebuilt this unit into a 7.2 star unit. So that's why I'm saying just be very careful, guys on what you decide to do and if you decide to do the advanced dis disassembly on any of your units because once you do it, you lose it entirely. Gone, can't use it again. So just be sure that if you're kind of in that situation where you're weighing those options and you're like, ah, do I really want to do this or do I really need this unit? If you think there is any small chance that you could benefit from having that unit, or you might want to use that unit in the future, whatever, I would highly advise you to not advance disassemble it because it's going to cost you a lot of time and a lot of coupons to go rebuild it. And those coupons are what you need to ultimately be able to continue modernizing your units in the first place. So yes, you're going to get an early jump on uh, prototype pieces, but you guys are also probably not going to have enough out of the gate anyway in terms of actual just ammo, components and arms xp to modernize your unit very far anyway so don't just jump out of the gate rush it and then be like well crap i i just advanced disassemble that to get some uh, prototype pieces and now i can't even get it to 8.1 star because i don't have the ammo necessary or i don't have the arms xp necessary whatever all i'm telling you guys is make whatever choice you think is best for you and what you think is going to be most beneficial to you I would just advise you guys to really take into consideration all of the different factors before you actually do the advanced disassembly. So I want to make sure I want to do this one live on video so you guys can fully see exactly what happened. So we're going to unclick that. All right. We're going to jump out of here. We are going to go into our uh, whoop, let's just go into our units. Let's scroll all the way down here. We're going to go down to our 7.2 star units. Let's see here. Okay. All right. We have got our Black Prince right here. Sweet. Level 200, 7.2 star, Liberty Heavy. We're going to back out of there. We're going to go over here to the disassembly plant, advanced unit disassembly. We're going to click on the Black Prince. We're going to disassemble it again. This is what I get. I'm going to OK it. Your selection contains a 7.2 star unit. You will lose these units if you disassemble them. Continue. Yes. All right, boom, we're done. This is what I get. All right, congratulations to me. I've just got all this, okay. Now we're gonna back out of here. We're gonna go back down. We're gonna go back all the way down to our 7.2 star units, and then we're gonna take a look at all of them, and uh, we're gonna make sure that uh, we, in fact, do lose it, all right? So this is where our 7.2 star units begin, and I am not seeing a Liberty Heavy. So, with that being said, that confirms that if you do the advanced unit disassembly, that you will, in fact, lose that unit entirely. That doesn't mean you can't rebuild it. That just means that you are going to completely lose it. And then if you want it back at any point in time, you guys are going to have to rebuild it with your coupons. But remember, just keep in mind that in order to get the prototype pieces to progress your other units, you're still going to need those coupons. So I would just be very careful, weigh all your options, you know, do the risk versus reward uh, you know, situation there for you guys and each situation and each player is going to be different and make your decision from there. So I hope that helps you guys. I've, I've had a lot of people asking me about the advanced unit disassembly, how it works, what it does, things like that. So hopefully this clears that up for you guys. If you guys have stuck around so far and have enjoyed this video, found this video helpful in any way, if you guys would please hit that like button as it does help me tremendously. If you guys are also not already subscribed to the channel and are enjoying the content that we are bringing you guys from this 5.0 update and other content as well, uh, please do go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well. Lastly, 
we do have our community discord we've got players all across warpath all across different servers different alliances if you guys are on discord not already in our community discord server i would highly encourage you guys to join it we have a ton of fun over there guys we've got a lot of like extremely extremely knowledgeable players that love to help uh, so if you guys do want to join that we would love to have you guys and we'd love to have you guys come be a part of that with us so the link to that is going to be in the description as well as in the pinned comment on this video below i appreciate you guys and we will catch you guys on the next one